Hey Tubers, today we've got a little Skoda Roomster. Uh, it's a 1.4 diesel and we're going to be doing the timing belt on it. Hope you enjoy the video. First we're going to tackle, remove the engine cover. Pull the dipstick out. I'll do it one handed. If it's gonna let go, there we go. Oh dear. That should have come out of the cover, really. Certainly seen better days. And what have we got in here, engine wires? We have, I believe it's a BMS, the engine. I can normally tell. By looking at this. All right, so we've got the engine cover off. Um, Next one we need to get rid of this pipe, clip down here, and there's a clip here, pull that out, the side of the pipe out. Let's take all this clip down the bottom first. And this one here, I wonder if I can do it with these little pliers. I reckon I'm going to need a hook. There we go. Maybe a little bit of gentle persuasion. Now that should just pull out there nice. So let's just pipe out. A little bit more room now. Take off the top timing belt cover. It's a clip. And let's put another clip down the other side. Just got my fingers on that one. Any more for any more? There might be another clip down there, man. A clip there, a clip there. So what I'm going to do, we will need to drain the coolant out of this, because we're doing the water pump as well. I'm going to remove this hose. I believe. That's going to be the plan. Just so we've got a bit more room. Sorry about that buzz in the background. I've got a charge on another vehicle. I'm just going to separate this on the coolant bottle, so. And that has a little clip there that you pull back. It should be able to just slide that down then. It says, that'll be a two-handed job. So it has three clips. I 
we have a clip here and then there's two little clips one there and one there at the back that just gives us some movement on that right so I've got that pipe out of the way now got this earth strap off I'm going to undo this side of this pipe as well probably didn't need to undo it from there I was thinking about Take the curling bottle right off, but I don't think that's necessary at the minute. If you have to, then we have to, and I'll address that in a bit. But right, so I'm going to set this hand back on, to be fair. Play nice. Well, you don't like getting involved in the uh, timing belt. Next stage will be to lift it up in the air, get the wheel off it. and the plastics from the inner arch. Right, let's get this wheel off. I always take the locking wheel up first and put it on the last. That's four wheel bolts and they're 17 mil. Now we can attack these bits of plastic. See what size we're going to have for here. Not that size. So these are a 20, oh, C25. See that one up there? No, you can't. That's so good, is it? Can't see what I'm doing. So we have one up here and one there. Do this top one first. Bound to be a couple at the bottom, no doubt. What have we got underneath here then? Looks like we have one here, another one there, one there, one there, and one right up in the corner, there. Right, 
looks like we're going to have to move the lens along. Yeah, there's one up here. I might as well undo them all actually. Sometimes you have enough room, you can just fold them over. I think on this one, I'll undo them all, take it right out. That's what we've undone. Take off that bit of plastic. And another one. Now we can get an idea of what we're doing. So these four have to come out. We need to lose the auxiliary belt. That's going to have to come off. And then we can start getting this engine panel's going to, lower engine cover is going to have to come off as well. So while we're sort of half in there, I'll pull that cover straight off it. So now we've got a nice view underneath it. This is a tensioner, I believe it's a 16. Let's pull it towards myself or towards the back of the car. off now. Do the bent. So something might have hit that at some point. But anyway, let's crack on. Ten mil there. Ten mil and a 10 mil there. We have those, I've given a little squirt up. Just a little bit of penetrating fluid around it. Now our belt covers, or cover, one there, one there. And I said there's one up there. So that's one of the 10 mils. Oh, it's on the bottom cover. So the 
one that size. Okay, probably one that size, and then one up here. I'm gonna have a go with cool drive, otherwise it'll wait until I've got the uh, engine mount off. We'll take off this one here, which is a button bolt for the uh, the engine mount. Tight because it's something like, like 20 newtons plus 45 degrees. That's four hours. And these can sometimes rust, but this one seems to be good. Undo these two. Oh, before I undo that, I'll just show you that this has an all locating hole. And that goes onto that dowel there. So now we need to drop it down a bit. I'm going to get a jack under here with a nice piece of wood to support the uh, weight of the engine. And then we can take off the engine mount on this side. While it's up in the air, now is a good time because we're going to be doing the, um... oh, bear with me, there we go. We're going to be doing the water pump as well, cooling pump. So we might as well drain the coolant while it's up in the air. Um, little tip, make sure the heater is in the hot position. So that'll open the, um, the, the valve. And then we can just set that drain out. So that's cool and drained out of it. So we just push and turn, and that's that valve closed now. Now we need to lower it onto a block so it spread the weight, uh, and then your jack will be on there. So then you can move the engine up and down as, as you wish. I do have a support that goes on the top. However, I find doing these, it gets in my way. So now we have the, the jack which is supporting underneath the engine so we can remove the bolts on this top mount. Hopefully you don't have to remove that. So we've got a bolt just down there or a nut. A nut there, a bolt there, a bolt there. We can get this top part off it and then there's a, another bit to take off after that, but let's get this top part off first. What do you reckon? 16s again? 
this one, it won't be that one because that's not a 16. Looks good. Just undo them a little bit at a time. Make sure that the weight of the engine is supported. As you can see now they're coming out quite nice. Well, that one down there, let's see if I can get a spare on that. A little awkward working around these pipes, but it's doable. That's one. That's the one where the um, the air fleet went on to. Two bolts. Now, with any that, we can wiggle this out our way. That's the bracket. Put them out. We have. How many more bolts? One bolt there. We've got the bottom bolt out already. Bolt there. So there's two, two more bolts. Should be able to get to them from here. I feel like the same size. Things. You just have to throw your way round. One down there, one there, and we took that one off when it was up in the air. Next thing we need to do is look up where the tiling marks are for it. Tell a lie, next thing we need to do is the 10 mil that was on top of the, um, the middle cover. which is that one there, because we couldn't get to it while that mount was on. So I need to remember that when we put it back together. Loose. 
hope we won't have to have a tin shelf to get this out, but we may have to. That tension's held on with three bolts here, you know what? I can't pull this cover off because it's failing on the tensioner. So it's three three bolts, so it's not the end of the world. Let's put out those three bolts, they look like thirteens. Just to make our life easier. So they're both the same. That gives us plenty more room. Look up the timing marks now. So on the bottom pulley and on the top. Should be a little indentation there. And then the pin. Let's see if we can get these timed up. So this looks like 13. We'll count to hold it there. Nothing's moved. These engines, it doesn't. Not my recommended way of doing it. Okay. The idle down here. There. I'm going to take that out and then we'll just be able to pull the belt off. So it's not my usual way of doing them. But sometimes needs must. This is quite a test in the morning. So it's just take off that little glide pulley and that will make the belt loose enough to pull off without disturbing anything. I mean, we're locked there. We're marked on the crank. But no point in taking unnecessary risks. So that's that one out and the 13 mil nut. So 
we're off the water pump now. And the belt's out. Sorry you couldn't see what I was doing, but basically, around the crank pulley, just pulling the belt a bit, around the water pump, around the cam and the tensioner. That's the tensioner. Now if you see it's got a little right angle piece that slots in. Got a receptor for it, just under the uh, cam pulley, which I shall show you once it's off. So just that piece there. That is where that little right angle locates.